In this module, we will introduce theoretical approach of probability. We know that as the number of tosses of the coin increases, the experimental probability of getting a head or tail comes closer and closer to the number 1 by 2. Many persons from different parts of the world have done this kind of experiment and recorded the number of heads that turned up. For example, the 18th century French naturalist Comte de Buffon tossed a coin 4040 times and got 2048 heads. The experimental probability of getting a head in this case was 2048 by 4040 that is 0 0.507. What will be the experimental probability of a head if the experiment is carried on up to say 1 million times or 10 million times and so on. We would intuitively feel that as the number of tosses increases, the experimental probability of a head or a tail seems to be settling down around the number 0 0.5. That is 1 by 2. Which is what we call the theoretical probability of getting a head. The theoretical probability, also called classical probability of an event E, written as probability of E is defined as probability of E is equal to number of outcomes favorable to E upon number of all possible outcomes of the experiment. Where we assume that the outcomes of the experiment are equally likely. Let us find the probability for some of the events associated with experiments where the equally likely assumption holds. Example Find the probability of getting a head when a coin is tossed once. Also, find the probability of getting a tail. Solution In the experiment of tossing a coin once, the number of possible outcomes is 2 head, H, and tail, T. Let E be the event, getting a head. The number of outcomes favorable to E, that is, of getting a head, is 1. Therefore, probability of E is equal to probability of head is equal to number of outcomes favorable to E upon number of all possible outcomes is equal to 1 by 2. Similarly, if F is the event getting a tail, then probability of F is equal to probability of tail is equal to 1 upon 2. Let us take one more example. A bag contains a red ball, a blue ball and a yellow ball. All the balls being of the same size. Kritika takes out a ball from the bag without looking into it. What is the probability that she takes out the 1. Yellow ball 2. Red ball 3. Blue ball. 6. Solution. Kritika takes out a ball from the bag without looking into it. So it is equally likely that she takes out any one of them. Let Y be the event. The ball taken out is yellow. B be the event. The ball taken out is blue. And R be the event. The ball taken out is red. Now, 
The number of possible outcomes is equal to 3. 1. The number of outcomes favorable to the event Y is equal to 1. So, probability of Y is equal to 1 by 3. Similarly, 2. Probability of R is equal to 1 by 3. And 3. Probability of B is equal to 1 by 3. An event having only one outcome of the experiment is called an elementary event. In this example, all the three events Y, B and R are elementary events. Note that probability of Y plus probability of R plus probability of B is equal to 1. This implies that the sum of the probabilities of all the elementary events of an experiment is 1. This is true in general also. Example Suppose we throw a dice once. 1. What is the probability of getting a number greater than 4? 2. What is the probability of getting a number less than or equal to 4? Solution 1. Let E be the event getting a number greater than 4. The number of possible outcomes is 6. 1. 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and the outcomes favorable to E are 5 and 6. Therefore, the number of outcomes favorable to E is 2. So, probability of E is equal to probability of number greater than 4 is equal to 2 by 6 is equal to 1 by 3 2 let f be the event getting a number less than or equal to 4 number of possible outcomes is equal to 6 outcomes favorable to the event f are 1 2 3 and 4. So, the number of outcomes favorable to F is 4. Therefore, probability of F is equal to 4 upon 6 is equal to 2 by 3. Are the events E and F in the example above elementary events? No, they are not because the event E has two outcomes and the event F has four outcomes. Here, probability of E plus probability of F is equal to 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 is equal to 1. Here, E is the event getting a number greater than 4 and F is the event getting a number less than equal to 4. Note that getting a number not greater than 4 is same as getting a number less than or equal to 4 and vice versa. Isn't F same as not E? Yes, it is. We denote the event not E by E bar. So probability of E plus probability of not E is equal to 1 which gives us probability of not E is equal to 1 minus probability of E. The event E representing not E is called the complement of the event E. We also say that E and not E are complementary events. 